but we made it onto the Euro <laughs> Tunnel. So we've uh, left home at seven this morning. Come down it. It is so busy because of uh, the Jubilee weekend. We're going Thursday morning. Bonnie's not quite sure that she likes it or not. <laughs> um, but we've got. Uh, it's now 25 past eight, and they're just finishing loading for the 8:20 crossing. Um, caravan seems to be pulling all right. First time we've taken it to France abroad, so that'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. First stop, St. Vast La Hougue. to our first um, air in uh, for lunch um, bought some baguettes from the uh, bakery inside and we're uh, at Bouville I think it's pronounced Bouville um, air about halfway near La Havre so uh, it was fantastic lovely lovely lunch <laughs> A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. So go straight down. Oh, and then go. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. Yeah, straight down here. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Hello. Hello. So, we arrived. We got to uh, Campine de la. Camping La Galouette. Galouette. Camping La Galouette. Um, really good drive. Um, we had lots of stops, it took us about six hours, but should have been about four and a half if we had not stopped. 280 miles. Roads in France are fantastic, so that was really good. Um, got here, set up the caravan, hour, hour and a half, all ready to rock and roll. Thought, right, I'll go out and find a piece of place. So in our broken French, we asked what time they stopped serving. And they told us seven o'clock. We said, right, okay, no problem at all. So we went back to the caravan, got ready, went back out again, turned up about 10 to. Thought we might be pushing it against, uh, pushing it. And they said, right, no. We said, but it's 10 to, not seven o'clock. And they were like, no. That's right, okay. So uh, said, can we have a beer? I said, we. Oui. So we had a beer. 
So uh, we ended up having a beer, sitting there, and then some French people opposite ordered food. And we look at each other thinking, well, I thought they still serving food. So uh, called the waiter over. None of them spoke any English, which is fine because we're in France. But we also know most of them can speak English. And again, they shouldn't have to. But we were trying to speak French and they were not helping us at all. So uh, it wasn't that we were just saying English in a French accent very loud. We were trying to speak French and we weren't getting on very well. So it turns out that uh, it wasn't they stopped serving food at seven, they started serving food at seven. And eventually we managed to order some pizzas and some drinks. Pizzas all at the same time. Pizzas turned up, um, drinks never did. So then we had to uh, chase the drinks. But we got there eventually. And we, uh, we uh, yeah, it was an experience. But the pizzas were fantastic. The beers were lovely when we eventually got them. Um, so we're now just walking back to the campsite. Wally behind us and uh, perhaps we'll have more luck tomorrow. Morning, just at um, reception, going to get some bread. We've got two croissants and a baguette coming and I've just noticed which one keeps going over there. Right, see in the distance there, that's where we're going to walk around later on, which is St Vast La Tower or Lighthouse or Castle, but I'll give you more on that later. So, Bonjour. here we go. Bon, oh, sorry, yes. Bonjour. <laughs> Comment ça va? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, come back from uh, the reception and we have our croissants and we have our French dick, which we will be making lunch out of in a minute. Plan for today is start off with we're going to get up um, the road and go to the Carrefour. Um, and get some supplies because the new rules because of Brexit is you're not allowed to bring dairy or meat items across the channel now. So uh, we have no food. So uh, we're going to go to the Carrefour and get some bits and check in with you later. So we're just walking along the path next to the caravan site and this backs onto the caravan site. Wow, so we are now, we're going to walk along here and then all the way along and then we're going to walk around La Hougue. Picture of our caravan pitch in our new caravan. Just walked to say around the back of the campsite and this is the view we've got it's absolutely fantastic we were just saying how really easy drive down yesterday as i think i previously said in the uh, car uh, french roads are just so empty compared with the uk um it's definitely worth the extra expense for the tunnel and everything um we just turned the corner seen the view behind and we just felt the stress of everything work etc just fading away and then we just think oh, and you just start relaxing into it. Absolutely beautiful. Doing um, walk around St. Vast La Hougue, it's um, La Hougue Tower, and uh, it's a fort that fought off the, the Brits. And there's an area that you walk all the way around the tower, but one of it is a thin wall that you walk along the top of that goes along the beach uh, with sea one side and moat the other side. We didn't face doing it with the dog, uh, but I've just seen the, the map and I just like what they call it. So they call it. 
area with risky sections. So that's a really nice walk, just walked back from La Hougue, La Hougue, it's been clarified. Um, apparently that tower, another tower behind you, which I'll show you in a minute, which uh, the two towers were set, all the uh, navy etc hid in the port and then that's how they defeated the UK. No, England, sorry, not the UK, England. So we just walked back from the uh, the hoop. That's the tower behind me. And if you turn the camera around, there's the other one, the other tower. Purely defensive. And the lighthouse. Butler, so it's just up the road from um, St. Bas La Hougue. Um, apparently, it's the best place in France for Mulls Malinais. So, uh, we're a bit early for lunch, but uh, that's what it's renowned for seafood. Barfleur is gorgeous. It'd be even nicer if it was sunny. But it's lovely, isn't it? But it's not raining. It's not raining. We have had a bonus there. Where it's meant to be yes. raining for the whole week. And it hasn't rained yet today. So uh, it looks like it might brighten up. It might even get a bit of sunshine at four. Bulls Mountain Air Fleets. <laughs> In France, to have Mors Marinet. No, 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 no. Mors. We have Mors Marinet and Mors Normandy. So it's exactly the same, but the Mors Normandy has um, a cream added to it as well. One arm off one. Very good. Really, really, really good. I'm leaving now, I'll finish them.